I've heard about no stink collars from Dublin Dog in the past, and I wasn't sure exactly how well they were going to work. Of course, I wanted to try them with our dogs to see how great they were, to see if they truly were no stink. Uh, if your dog wears a collar frequently, you know that it starts to kind of absorb odors and moisture and it, you know, bacteria festers in there and they start to have kind of a stinky dog odor after a while. So I was really curious about no stink collars. Now, um, I got two different products. This is the just the traditional uh, no stink collar from Dublin Dog. And this is the KOA series, which is still a no stink collar, um, very similar. This one's a little bit thinner, and um, I, I don't know how well you can see this, but this one looks like it has scales. It's the Red Snapper. They make these with uh, trout and other outdoorsy-themed um, patterns, I guess you could call them. I don't really know what to call them, but um, so they're kind of an outdoorsy. These are great for dogs that spend a lot of time outdoors. If you follow my reviews and my videos, you know that we take our dogs hiking a lot. Our lab, Sadie, loves to swim. Uh, my mom lives up on the river um, just about a half an hour from us, so we go up there a lot in the summertime. We hike around. Our dogs play in the water, uh, and we can't keep a collar clean. We definitely can't keep a collar dry, and um, I have tried washing nylon collars in the washing machine before and or and sometimes I've soaked them and it does work but um it, it, I don't think because they don't dry all the way after you wash them, it doesn't stay odor free for very long. Um, I feel like that just kind of, you know, wipes out the odor that's there and it almost immediately starts building bacteria and odors as soon as you take it out of the wash because they don't dry. So um, these ones are much different than a nylon collar. They're actually, um, so I'll start with, both of them are non-porous. Um, they are made with 100 proof water, 100% waterproof material. The KOA is just the urethane. Um, it's a tough liquid polymer uh, top layer. It's um, waterproof and that's it. It's super thin. I do show some pictures in my full review if you're watching this on social media or on YouTube. Click the link below this. You can see the pictures. Um, this is about half as thick as the traditional um, no stink collar. These ones have a polyester strap that's encased in that waterproof uh, coating with the liquid polymer uh, top layer. So it's the same type of technology, the same type of material, but they're a different collar. They're definitely a different style. They're both non-porous, um, so, you know, bacteria can't grow in there. No water gets in there. They're really easy. You just take a wet rag and some, with maybe some soap on it, um, and just wipe them down, and that, that's, um, good enough to clean them so they're easy much easier to clean um, I'm going to show you what these look like and give you a little bit more of a close-up look at them on our dogs here's Sadie and her Dublin dog uh, no stink collar I have a hard time getting Molly to sit still so she might be around uh, here in just a second for us she is uh, wearing the no stink collar Sadie has the KOA one thing I will mention you'll notice that this is uh, a lot hanging off here. The sizing on these collars runs just a little bit big. Um, usually if our dogs are borderline one size or the other, I go for the larger size. With these ones, you don't have to. Um, they, they do run a little bit big. So Sadie has an 18 inch neck um, and this is on the farthest hole. So, you know, they do run just a little bit big, but not a whole lot. Um, the sizes are pretty good. These are designed and assembled in the USA. You can see the Dublin Dog. Um, this is brass hardware with a brushed satin finish and uh, this buckle as well. Same These thing. dog collars actually um, have a 1200 pound pull strength. They're strong enough to tow a full size pickup truck and I didn't believe that until I got on the company's website and uh, checked that out and watched the video for myself. And if you're watching this on social media or on YouTube, there's a link just below uh, this. It'll take you to my full written review and there is a copy of the video there uh, for you to watch because it is pretty hard to believe that these are so strong and so well made. Uh, for high quality collars like this, they are uh, a little bit expensive, a little bit more expensive, especially more expensive than a traditional nylon collar. Um, they're anywhere from like $15 to $30 depending on the style and the pattern that you choose. So keep that in mind, but um, certainly you'll have these throughout the life of your dog. I have no doubt they've held up really well. Sadie and Molly like to wrestle and they chew on each other's collar and these ones are no worse for the wear yet. So um, I'm excited about that. 
So if you guys have any questions about the Dublin Dog No Stink Collars or the KOA version, um, just send me an email, samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this review, guys. I will see you back next time. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. We really appreciate you guys tuning in whenever we post a new video. Of course, you can check us out on our website, topdogtips.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check back often because we are always publishing new reviews, um, product information, top 10 lists, information about dog care, grooming, training, um, all aspects of dog care health, and uh, we share some vet tips on there, all kinds of great stuff. So if you're a dog owner, dog lover, that's the site for you. Also, be sure to find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest as well. So um, make sure to follow us, and then you'll stay up to date with everything that's going on on our website and on our social media. You'll see all the newest videos whenever they're posted. And, of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Top Dog Tips. We're right there. Subscribe, and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So be sure to do that. Thanks again for watching watching guys and I'll see you back soon with another great Top Dog Tips video.